Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jungle, the owner of a Jungle Low Cage Fighting Series. Going down May 28th at the heart of San Francisco Keys, our pavilion. Why next to me? We're having a Joseph Theron just come off a big win on my last event. Now he will challenging the vacant middleweight title fight at the amateur, trying to trying to get that goat belt wrap around him. Yes, now, uh, Joe, first of all, congratulations on your W on the last event. Um, it was kind of crazy. I did a little short interview with you after that, and then you telling me like maybe because the the, the echoes from the the mic, and then I asked you, do you have anyone you want to fight? You talking about I want to fight a leprechaun. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I didn't realize you actually called somebody. I was like, oh okay, maybe you trying to hopefully fight anybody kind of short out there, you know, want to get a shot, you know. And then when after I talked to Dylan, and he's up for the fight, and then I interview him, and he Dylan even asked me like, does he call me out after the fight? I, was like, I don't think so. Yeah, and no. then later on, yeah, I watched that. I watched his interview. He's like, did he call me out? And you're like, oh, I don't know. I think he just called out anybody for the 185. But no, nah, yeah. nah, I called you out. I called you out, Dylan Miles. Okay, y'all seen that movie, The Evil Leprechaun? Look it up. He looked just like him. But, uh, <laughs> I called him out because I think this is gonna be a good fight, man. Me and him put on a show. I know he's a wrestler. I'm a wrestler, but I ain't trying to wrestle, man. I'm throwing these hands, baby. So watch out. Let's go. Now, you know, I, I even asked him, like, what you think about, you know, stick with your roots and trying to wrestle with Joe. He's like, no, nah, I'm going to put the wrestling down. Like, I really don't think so. I think we all know his game plan, man. We all know his game plan. But I got something nice waiting for him when he shoots that double. So, let's go. So, a little leprechaun, huh? Leprechaun, motherfucker. <laughs> look at leprechaun looking motherfucker, yeah? Huh? man. No, miles. Let's no, go. No, I have it's to. good because I got my four-leaf clover, baby. So we good. Now I have to watch this movie to understand exactly what character are you talking Man, about. I'm gonna show you after, you're gonna crack up. <laughs> so now um, this is a three three minute round, uh, notion guards, and uh, I know Dylan never lost before. Uh, I believe he's truly record. I believe he's a four or five and oh. Uh, never lose a fight. Um, one of my guys, uh, uh, um, Tonga Dave in the casino. Um, you know, phenomenal wrestler, you know, I have to say, like, you know, my guy was probably a better hand on the feet, and then he keep taking uh, David down, and David couldn't, uh, couldn't get the job done, and uh, obviously he'd come out on top and win the fight, you know, and holding the Bear River um, amateur title at the, at the 205, actually, at the time. Now he's making the 185 pound, trying to make some noise, and I believe this will be his last amateur fight before he go pro. So what do you see yourself, what do you see yourself after this fight? So after I whip uh, your ass, Dylan, I'm gonna uh, go fight two more fights. Each fight will be a title, whether I defend it here or whether I go get SF Combats or Bay Area Combats. Um, either or, I'm gonna get three Emmy titles and then we going pro, baby. I need I need one around each shoulder, one around my, uh, around my waist, you know what I'm saying? Cause I look good in gold and then we gonna hop into pros, baby. Do you have anyone uh, that in 185, 85 pound, right? 185, yes sir. 185, do you have anyone that in your mind in the pro circuit that you have an eyeball for? Man, I've seen a couple guys, I've seen a couple guys, you know, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. Once I go pro, then I'll make some noise and I'll call those motherfuckers out. Little leprechaun. <laughs> Different yeah, leprechaun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dylan's, Dylan's getting getting his hand, you know, we six weeks out, baby, so we ready, we ready. You wanna wrestle, man, it's Scramble City when we hit the ground. You ain't holding me down like you hold all your other opponents down, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, you a good wrestler, I'll give you that. You know, I respect you, you know what I'm saying? I see your work ethic, I see your, your top control, I see you got some good hips, you know what I'm saying? But, bro, you ain't you ain't never fought nobody like me, okay? You ain't been in a real fight until you fight Joe Thoreau, so you're gonna find out, dog. Well, you are definitely the tallest guy he ever gonna face it. You know, you're six foot five, Joseph. Um, it might be six foot six by the time six more week comes out. <laughs> you get taller every time, I say that all the time. I told you to eat your broccoli. Y'all listen, kids. Is that right, broccoli? Yeah, yeah. Broccoli's a secret, man, broccoli. I thought broccoli and spinach like Popeye's, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Now, Joe, um, how do you prepare for this upcoming camp? I know you're training with Ivan Batnanich, uh for his title defensive yeah, fight. That's my dog right there. And then uh, the, uh, Dylan's also training with Joaquin Lopez, also challenging for the title. Yeah, no, it's nice, man. So it's like Mendo versus San Jose, baby. Let's go. Let's get it popping. But you know, I already know San Jose, we coming out with both titles, baby. Let's do this. All right. This is going to be really awesome. Now, let's let people know what gym do you train at right now, Joe? Shit, I find out a Dark Horse Gym out of San Jose, California, 96 North Almaden Boulevard. I'm gonna have tickets on me, so if you wanna pull up to the gym, I'm there every day, um, usually in the evening, 5 to 8 p.m. Um, so you can pull up, you know, say what's up, take a pic, get a training session, and uh, grab a couple of tickets to the fight, baby, let's go. That's pretty awesome. Now, Joe, your personal life, uh, well, what do you do for work? Uh, 
So right now, I'm pretty much just focused on training. I do sales. I sell ADT, um, residential commercial. So if you know anybody that needs an alarm system, let me know. Nice. I'll hook you up with the you know, $150 uh, referral just for mentioning my name. Um, but right now, I've just been focused on training, man. This is champ camp, but you know, I got, I got big things ahead of me. So I'm going to train hard. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to fuck Dylan up you know, in a couple of weeks. And then uh, I'm going to go on a rampage. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go pro. We're going to make a scene. And uh, I'm thinking Bellator. You know what I'm saying? Bellator. So I'm thinking Bellator. I want to fight at the Shark Tank, baby. That's my hometown. You know what I'm saying? So I want to fight right there at the SAP Center in front of all my fans, all my people. Well, the Bellator, Bellator list. The Bellator matchmaker was in the front row seat on my last event. Yes, sir. Watching a lot of people uh, fight. You seen me uh, choke Blake out, huh? Yeah. 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 So yes, you sir. would definitely, like, once you hit the pro, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be interested to pick you up. It's just your personality, the way you fight, such an exciting fighter. And, uh, you know, in generally, like, everyone loves to see knockouts, you know, and you just let those hands go. Yeah, I got a lot of knockouts in the street, man. I'm just trying to get one in the cage now, you feel me? So, <laughs> so hey, if I fight like I do in the street, in the ring, man, shit, we, we, going, we going places, baby. We going places. And every, every fight, you feel a little more comfortable. Your time is a little bit more there. This fight, I was, I was trying to throw these hands, but this guy was strong. He was trying to take me down. He wanted to wrestle, so I had to show him a little jujitsu. you know what I'm saying? Make him tap like a chicken. So, uh, this, this fight, the last fight you have, you against the guy from Fabio Prado. That's a straight pure wrestler as well. And I didn't really see the outcome. I thought you were pretty much going to be defending, take down, pop back up and trying to keep your hand. But you actually wrestle with him. You actually doing your jujitsu. That's why I would kind of compliment you. Like every time I see you fight, you grow so much from the previous fight. You know, like I always saw you like front kick, side kick, one, two, and then always work on your striking game. Anybody trying to grab you down, pop back up. Last fight, you just go along and then showcase of your jujitsu and your wrestling. It's kind of impressive. So, what what do you? How do you feel with the last opponent? He's a strong wrestler too. Yeah, no. Shout out to Blake, man. That was a good fight. That was a great fight. Tested both of us. Um, but yeah, it was just my technique. You know, when we hit the ground, he just kept trying to hip toss me, and I just fought, fell on top every time. I could have done a lot of things better. I go back on my fights, even though I won, I still look at it like twenty times and see every little thing I could have done better. I could be more tighter, work different positions. I got, I got a lot of a lot of stuff. I'm gonna showcase this next fight that I did in this last fight. But uh, like I said, if it hits the ground, I'm comfortable, man. We could we could wrestle, we could roll, you know what I'm saying? We could do jiu-jitsu or we could stand up. Like anywhere, bro, I'm comfortable. So it don't matter where the fight go. Now, I know you're fighting 185 pounds. What do you walk around weight right now, Joe? So I'm like 197 right now. You know, so I put I actually put on a couple pounds, you know, uh, since do the you, last fight. Do you ever think about go down to 170? So I did cut to 170 in my first fight and uh, caught a cold and fought still on the same day because I sold tickets. I didn't want nobody to, you know, miss the show. So I still put on a good performance, but at 170, my body was depleted. I know pro, you get a whole day to recover, but still 170, this is a little too much for me, man. I'm 6'5", I'm already skin and bone. I don't need to be cutting, you know, everything I got to make 170. You don't want so, to deplete yourself. Yeah, so 185, man, is where we're going to stay. We're going to run, run circles around these middleweights, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Anybody in the 185 pound, even you're the pro, you definitely have to look out for this up and comer. I'm coming for all you. I'm coming for all you. Let's go. This is a hometown, own breathe right there. Uh, Joe Theron from amateur, hopefully to the pro, hopefully get to the scrap, make your pro debut, and then from there get signed with the bigger promotion. This is a home grow, Joseph Theron. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to buy a couple of tickets to come support you watching your fight, how can people contact you? Uh, man, you can hit me up on my Instagram. That's the Rockin. That's T H U R R O C K I N. You gotta request me because it's private. Or you can hit up my uh, other account. It's uh, Be All In. Um, I'm sorry, my own personal training, physical fitness. I'm also getting some merch off, so you can hit me up there. Um, or you can stop by the gym, 96 North Amadin Boulevard, Dark Horse Gym, downtown San Jose, right by San Pedro Square. Um, and for all my family and friends, you, you know what to do, man. Hit me up. I'll pull up on you. Drop those tickets off. That's pretty awesome. Now. Uh any special training partner, uh, uh, supporters, coaches uh, that you want to shout out to, sponsors? Yeah, first and foremost, shout out to Dave Velasquez, my head coach. You know, uh, he's been showing me a lot of tricky shit for this next one. Actually, on the mats with me rolling around. So it's nice uh, getting some mat time in with coach. Um, I want to shout out uh, Justin Davis. I want to shout out fucking Luis Vargas, even though he moved away. I still got all that wrestling that boy taught me. Uh, Samuel Williams. Uh, I could thank him for that last that last fight, that we're naked choke from all those years. Sammy choking my ass out. <laughs> um, appreciate you, dog. Give me, give me that mad time. Give me those hours and, and help me with that victory. Um, uh, Ivan Batnich, baby, let's go. You defending the strap. I'm fighting for mine, baby. Let's go. Middleweight. We taking this shit home. Um, and then to all my family and friends, man, that's been here from the start, been here from the jump, supporting me, coming to every fight, hitting me up, always showing love, man. I appreciate you guys. I, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. you know what I'm saying so. 
May 28th, baby. We about to put on another show. We're gonna come out victorious with the strap. On to the next one. Let's do it. That's Let's pretty awesome. Now, if Dylan Meyer watched this interview, what do you have to say to Dylan Meyer? Uh, so you thank me for taking the fight, man, which I called you out, so that don't even make sense. So thank you for taking the fight. I appreciate you. Uh, train hard. Um, 185. I don't know how easy that's gonna be for you, so you better make sure you're running those laps, boy. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's put on a show, man. I know you want to wrestle, so if you want to wrestle, we can wrestle. But I'm trying to throw these hands, dog. So let's put on a show for the for the fans and not be boring. Don't don't make a boring fight that nobody want to watch. All right, let's go. That's pretty awesome. Now this event coming up, it's live stream pay per view nationwide. So some of you guys, if you cannot make it to the live uh, live event, make sure you guys order the pay per view voucher from DragonHouseMMA.com and please subscribe my YouTube channel oh, and give me a. Give me a little bit of yeah. love and support, and then please subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, well, um, you, you see this guy? When you, can you get your uh, fire to Steve, bring it back to this guy right here. I'm going to the Chinese guy. So, uh, yep, we'll see you guys May 28th. The fight card layout, we'll be checking out in Dragon House. I'm going to be for a little bit of interruption. You know, we are on the Mission Street, and uh, on the PC Street people just come in now. Shout Dragon out House, yeah, stay active, baby. <laughs> we got a lot of... Uh, a lot, of, a lot of excitement here in this neighborhood every single day. So anyway, we'll see you guys May 28th. Stay tuned. Subscribe my YouTube channel. And thank you for all the love and support. I'm Joe Lowe signing out. And here we go. We have the Joseph Throne going down on May 28th. Good to have him on, brother. Let's go, baby. Thank you. I'll see you soon, Dylan.